Mars is the next logical step in our space program. It's the challenge that's been staring us in the face for the past 30 years. It has water, it has carbon, it has a 24-hour day, it has geothermal energy. Mars is a place we can settle. There is a giant rift in its surface. 5,000 kilometers long, there is a volcano as wide as Arizona. So there's the choice of life. One either grows or one decays. Grow or die. I think we should grow. Mars is a world of wonders. It has canyons, river valleys, and giant ice sheets. Mars is a world of wonders. It shouldn't be humans to Mars in 50 years. It should be humans to Mars in 10. Either muster the courage to go, or we risk the possibility of stagnation, of cosmic radiation, zero gravity, Martian dust storms, back contamination. But these are dragons that we can take on. In our time, we have sifted the sands of Mars, sands of Mars. established a presence there, and fulfilled a century of dreams. The Mars rovers have really captured our imagination. They genuinely are explorers in the old-fashioned sense. If you put out a call for volunteers for the first crew to Mars, they'd be lined up coast to coast. Mars is a world of wonders. It has canyons, river valleys, and giant ice sheets. Mars is a world of wonders. It shouldn't be humans to Mars in 50 years. It should be humans to Mars in 10. Mars is a dry, frozen version of our home, covered in red dust and sand. At one time, in the ancient past, Mars was very similar to the condition of earlier. There will always be people with new ideas on how humans should live together. We now have eyes and ears on the surface. What's left after you go is the good you left behind. You have to believe in hope. You have to believe in the future. The future. There are more and more people coming around to the point of view that a positive future for humanity requires human expansion to space. Mars is a world of wonders. It has canyons, river valleys, and giant ice sheets. Mars is a world of wonders. It shouldn't be humans to Mars in 50 years. It should be humans to Mars in 10. crossroads today. We either muster the courage to go or we risk the possibility of stagnation in the kingdom.